Well, safe to say I've never been to a garage sale at a house this big. That is cool, yeah. For the boost? Yeah, good find. I'm gonna buy your mirror here. Yeah. There you go. Would you do a 20 on your Nerf gun? No. Carrie. Carrie, what 20 on the Nerf gun? I don't know, what's she got on? Uh, 30. Huh? Oh, no, 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 you can't go out. Um, I would. I can get 20. Okay, oh, that's fine. 20, Sorry, okay. Thank you. No. The dogs are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Oh, you oh it's good to your car. <laughs> Here, you want to go right now? Oh, Tetherball match at the garage sale. Uh oh. <laughs> John, is this a good player? Um, that's I wouldn't pay that. Huh? He is. He is a good player. This isn't worth it. It retails like it sells for about twelve. Is it for you? No, no, I'm not. Uh -oh. How much is your bow? Thirty dollars. Thirty bucks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Would you do twenty on the bow? Uh, it's not really mine. Okay. So, if it doesn't sell by tomorrow, I will. Tell you what, if I do the bow for thirty, would you throw that in the little quiver thing? How much is that one? Five. Yeah. Okay, thank you. There's 20, let me get you a 10. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh, thank you. You asking four for this? Yes, I I'll am. take this. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, good luck with your sale. Thank you. Appreciate you stopping by. That ain't going. Yeah, so that's... So we don't have to buy the Amazon course grounds? Oh, interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Some straws for 20 bucks. Check out what I got. Look, 50 cents each. Nice. This is for us. This is possibly for us. Yeah, 50 cents. That's a really good deal. Asking 50 cents for that? Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Thank you. Have a good day. You're welcome. You too. They tried to get us with a alarm. Just like, no, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we will know if anyone comes. Yes, Do you have the uh, warmers? I have one warmer. Yeah? Down in here? Okay. Yep, go free. Do you want me to pull this out for you? If you'd like, absolutely. How much is this? Make me an offer. <laughs> Do you have the remote for it? One of those, possibly. Oh, okay, yeah. How about five bucks? I'll do ten. Here's your ten, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.
club for, oh, she's, she's she played for uh, Cincinnati United and then Cup for the last, like, how much are your uh, attachment things? Three bucks. How about, for you? how about two? All right, that's fine. I get two for this. It's four dollars. That's fine. Four. I'll get you a dollar change. Oh, I got singles. Oh, good. Good deal. Came prepared. <laughs> there you go. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah, you as well. That works. Same thing. Yeah. Same animal. It works great. Yeah. <laughs> Would you take five for your sled? Yeah, I'll take five for it. Cool. Now, if that was an American fl or radio flyer, oh yeah, you know, that'd be worth. I actually have a radio flyer. Do you really? I don't have it here, but. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Well, safe to say I've never been to a garage sale at a house this big. Okay. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. We're well. Yourselves? Doing good. Excuse me. Wow. It's a Columbia. Are you 50 yeah. cents? Fair trade. I'm going to be out of quarters here, though, so let me see if I can. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm trying to enough change. Thank you, sir. You Have go. a good day. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm back at the warehouse, and I found so much good stuff today eBay stuff, stuff from my antique booth. Like, it was just like every single sale, I felt like that I found something. So, I've got it all spread out. I'm going to show you guys. What I bought. All right, starting over here, I got a sled at two different sales. I paid five each for them. They're both going to go in my antique booths, especially since Christmas is coming up in cold weather. I think those will do well. I got this Coleman uh, like cooler water jug for fifty cents. Um, I recently learned from my buddy John that this diamond design has a little bit of value. I looked this specific one up. I think that it should sell for about thirty-five, forty bucks, something like that. I don't think these are dated with the year the way that their lanterns are. I see 6 to 10, but I don't think that's any kind of date or anything. I got this VTEC uh, cordless phone set for $3, and I don't think it was ever used. I opened it up at the sale, and all the phones still have the plastic in it and everything, so I'll have to take a closer look, but I think this is basically brand new got a coffee mug for 50 cents this was at that big mansion we went to that was really disappointing to be honest they just didn't have that much good stuff this was all i was able to find that find there um and the house is actually for sale they're selling the house for 1.2 million dollars so pretty wild got this um vintage pittsburgh penguins hat for two dollars not sports specialties brand or anything like that let's see what is it head to toe brand but it is a snapback, so that should bring maybe 15 bucks. I got a uh, 1957 Chevy Nomad uh, diecast car for $4. Let's see, some miscellaneous small stuff here. Um, these are some beard trimmer heads. I paid $2 for those, so I'll bring about 15. Got a puzzle for 50 cents, uh, new in the packaging inside. I got this Sony 300 uh, CD uh, player. These have some okay value. I've sold some of these in the past around $50, $60, and I've never found one with the remote. And uh, the lady selling it actually had two remotes. 
actually a little bit different. So I'm sure one of these goes to this, but then one doesn't. So I can sell the other remote separate. But look at this. They've got all of these artists plugged into these numbers. Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses, Van Halen, Ozzy Osbourne, Journey. I doubt that the discs are still in there, but it's pretty cool how you can just kind of rotate through that. So I think that'll add some value. And then I should be able to, you know, sell the spare remote for 15 bucks or so, I think. I paid $10 for the CD player and the two remotes. Under the CD player, uh, my wife found this at a sale. It is a decorative, like, uh, ship's porthole uh, mirror for $3. That'll go to the antique mall. I got a whole bag of Pokemon or Pokemon cards for a dollar. I really don't know a lot about these, but I recently sold a good amount of them at auction for about, I want to say it was about 50, 60 bucks, something like that. So I figured it was hard to go wrong for a dollar. I got an Aerosmith um, Guitar Hero game and guitar for Xbox 360. Condition on this thing is not great, as you can see. The guy had an Xbox 360 and some games and a rock band thing, and I think he wanted like 125 for everything, and I don't think there was a lot of money to be made with that. So I was like, hey, how about I buy your game and your guitar separate? And he said, that's cool. Ended up getting that for $10. If this was in really good shape, I think the guitar and game would bring between 40 and 50 but as it is, it'll probably only bring about 30 or 35 I got this bike wheel for $5. That's going to the antique booth. Uh, I got this big door for $7. That's also going to the antique booth. Found this Battlestar Galactica uh, glass from 1979. Um, they only had a dime on it. I just gave them a buck. It's actually selling around $25. I was kind of surprised to see what that was worth. At the same sale, I was pretty surprised to see what this is worth, too. Uh, this is... A Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer, one of those things that like sings and dances and stuff, uh, made by Dandy. I paid three dollars for it, and the same one sold for forty dollars free shipping recently. And with Christmas coming up, I think that'll do pretty well. I haven't tested it yet. Oh wow, it works. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, down here I got a Sprite cooler for five dollars. That is also going to the antique mall. I got this big Nerf gun. New in the packaging, uh, they had 30 bucks on it. I got it for 20, and it looks like it's selling for about 50 to 60 bucks. So I'm pretty happy to find that. I got a bow and arrows for $30, and she threw in this Browning Whisper Lock quiver. Couldn't find comps on this quiver, and really couldn't find comps on this bow either because it says uh, Fred Bear, and at one like somewhere on it it says Advantage right there. So I don't know if this is Advantage model or if it's something else. So I'll have to do a little bit of research on this. But I figured for that price, it was kind of hard to go wrong. And then down in here, some arrows. Like here's some extra ones. These might be new. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, it's just a handful of arrows. So those might not bring a whole lot of value. I might try to sell that locally first before I put it on eBay. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.